Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be going over the most important tips to get you TikTok famous in just one day. You know, most of these videos talking about how you can grow on any social media platform in just a day are scams, but TikTok is absolutely wild. I actually went from 1,000 to 20,000 followers in a single day. My biggest day so far has been 120,000 followers in less than 24 hours and my page has gone on to grow to almost 2 million. That's all in less than a year. I want to use that as an example to show you that this is totally possible, so let's get into it and show you how you can do this for yourself. Before we get into anything, you need to understand how TikTok growth works. When you post a video, the TikTok algorithm shows it to a small amount of people on the For You page. Depending on those people's reactions, it'll show it to more and more people. You can look at it like levels in a game. If a good amount of people who see your first video watch through the whole thing, like it, comment it, and share it, you'll make it to the next level. Of course it goes on and on, but either way you need to focus on your likes, comments, shares, and watch time. A good metric for likes is a 20% view to like ratio. So if a video gets 1000 views, you want to get as close to 200 likes as possible. Anyways, that's a quick crash course on how the algorithm works from my understanding, but now that you've got a hold of that, let's get into my biggest pointers. The first trick is to make the first few seconds of your video as entertaining as possible. The reason TikTok and short form video in general is so popular nowadays is because people have very limited attention spans. If you don't like the first few seconds of a video, you can scroll on to the next and never have to see that one again. That being said, the first 3-5 to five seconds of your video are easily the most important. You need to get people's attention here, so you really want to think about how your video is going to start and use it to hook them in. For the exact same reason, you want to make sure there's nothing that's unnecessary in your videos. Anything that's not super necessary to the point of the video needs to be cut out. Now if you follow that rule, you'll understand the next rule which is the fact that the length of your videos doesn't really matter. Of course videos that are shorter tend to perform better, but that's just because videos that are closer to the 60 second mark have a ton of unnecessary footage in them. One of my best performing videos to date is 51 seconds long and that's just because every single second captures the viewer's attention. Next, you need to upload literally as often as you can. Unlike other platforms, TikTok gives every video an equal chance at going viral. So the more you're actually posting, the more you're increasing your chances at going viral. Even though I already have an established account, I still try to post three times a day so that I can continue to grow at the rate that I'm currently growing. That being said, I wouldn't recommend uploading more than five or six videos a day just because that'll burn you out really quickly. I think uploading every day is really important, but if you're uploading too much, it's just gonna burn you out, overwhelm you, and you're probably gonna quit. That being said, if you don't know exactly what you're gonna wanna make TikTok videos about, I would recommend just filming everything you do for a few days. If you do that, you could probably make a few interesting TikTok videos out of it. Speaking of which, that brings us into my next tip, which is to look through your camera roll. A lot of us have funny videos of ourselves, family, and friends. It's definitely worth taking a stroll down memory lane and just seeing if you have any potential gems in there. On social media in general, but especially TikTok, people love to see that stuff. I've seen many videos perform really well that were obviously just taken from the creator's camera roll. That is a good one, so don't sleep on it. If you feel like you're learning from this video already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below because these videos take a ton of time and effort, and I'm going to be making more videos like this one that you need in your life. My next tip is to duet famous videos. When you duet a famous video, it's more likely that people on the For You page are going to recognize it and therefore they're going to continue to watch. There are plenty examples of creators who went mega viral for duetting famous videos. That being said, if you can make a funny or interesting duet with a video that already went viral, you're golden. Next, it's important that you pick a niche and be yourself. I put these two things together because it's really important that you pick a niche that you're interested in. Never ever ever pick a niche because you think it's going to be popular because you're just going to end up being miserable making your videos and trust me you don't want that. Now the reason picking a niche is so important is because your followers have to know what to expect from you. I see way too many people blow up on a certain type of video and then their videos following are totally unrelated. If your page blows up on a fun fact video but then your next post is a video of you dancing, nobody's going to care. So don't be surprised when you get a bunch of followers and your videos still aren't performing well. Another tip is that you should be riding current trends. A perfect example is this video I did about the song WAP. As soon as it popped off, I made a video about how much money the song made and it absolutely exploded. It's still one of my most viewed videos to date. I personally think the best way to grow on TikTok is to relate your niche to trending topics as much as possible. I talk about money facts on my page a lot, so I incorporated the song WAP which was trending at the time and it worked wonders. While scrolling through the For You page, you should be looking out for videos that are currently trending or even trends that people are taking part in. Every time you see one, you should write it down and think about how you can capitalize on it. 
It's super important that you do this quickly though because trends get played out and oversaturated in a matter of days. That brings us to our next point, repeat your success. If you found that a video performed well, study everything about it and figure out why it was successful. You need to develop some sort of formula for your videos so that you can post with confidence and know it's going to perform well. Of course that doesn't mean it's going to perform just as well every single time, but this is going to help your overall performance a lot. Speaking of niches, find videos in your niche that performed really well and make them your own. Although I wouldn't recommend copying other creators, it's super important that you study the videos of the creators who have been successful in your niche. If you haven't noticed this already, consuming a lot of content on TikTok is a big part of this. Figure out why videos do well and take inspiration from them. Next, you should be using hashtags. I don't credit much of my success to hashtags, but they can be super helpful. Don't think too much into your hashtags because they won't be the reason that your video blows up. However, they can make a difference between your video getting a million and five million views. For example, I did a video where I calculated how much money Mr. Beast gave away across his entire YouTube channel. The video performed really well and I was lucky enough to be the number one video on the hashtag Mr. Beast. The video originally slowed down at around 5 million views, but because it was number one in the hashtag, it slowly crawled up to almost 10 million views. More. You shouldn't use more than five hashtags on your videos because it might look scammy, but here's what I would do. Pick a few big hashtags and a couple middle-sized ones and just go with them. Of course, one of the most important parts of this is the fact that you can use your platform to make money and avoid having a 9 to 5 job if that's something you're interested in. I'll be making some videos on how I was able to build a platform that pays more than most full-time jobs, so stay tuned for that. If you've made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and comment what you want to see from me next.